How's it going guys? It's Joe. Welcome to the channel. Today I just wanted to show you this Grand Arena episode here against Arcana. He's pretty good. Like he's got about 600k GP higher than what I've got. Um, I've been getting a lot of matchups lately where they're about 500, 600k higher, but um, quite lucky enough to to win some. Although I've been losing a lot more lately than I'm winning. So he's pretty, got a pretty solid lineup. He's got a really fast Darth Revan as well. There's a Grievous here in the front. Um, Night Sisters, First Order and a Scoundrel team. So I want to start with that Grievous team. Get that out of the way. I'm going to um, use my Padme squad here to start off with. So Padme is pretty reliable against most teams. I would say I use her for almost every team although I'm not really that confident with her against Sith Empire um, because my Padme is pretty fast I try to mod her fast so she can go against um, gas so at the beginning we're gonna try and survive this opening salvo as per usual throw out our cleanse and we're gonna go against BB-8 because we're stuck behind that taunt for now get a dispel on Ahsoka and smash out BB-8 there so once he's gone gonna get my protection up going and Grievous just falls from that special from Ahsoka which is pretty incredible I've modded her for a lot of crit damage so she does so much damage under Padme I would say she's so reliable sometimes you may not even need Jedi Knight Anakin so next time I might even remove Jedi Knight Anakin and throw in someone else. So I'm going to go against the First Order team now because I want to see what's behind that line. So I'm going to use my Resistance team. I don't have BB-8 because I like putting him on defense these days. I'm going to throw that Confuse onto Kylo which didn't really work out. So I'm stuck behind the Taunt. I'm going to throw some Turn Meter onto Rey here. And let's just get that um, expose and heal block on Kylo Ren. Still stuck behind that taunt, unfortunately. Now we can get things going. So we're gonna go and beat down Captain Phasma here. And we're gonna go for the panda in the back. Let's throw some translation stacks around. Stun Hux. And it's really nice having a really strong resistance team as um, the stronger you can get them, the more they can accomplish. So let's gonna... Oh, we're gonna throw that Confuse now and we're gonna throw this grenade as well. So once that new ray has come out, this is this team is going to be even more viable. At the moment, they're so good already that it's a bit scary, actually. Once the meta starts changing, how um, viable our old meta teams would be once the new Kylo Ren and new ray comes out. I'm going to throw this turn meter onto ray again. And we're just going to target Hux here, get him out of the game, throw Confuse onto Kylo there, that grenade is awesome and currently I'm working on my resistance hero Poe as well because having both of those in your team really helps with synergy and he does so much damage. If you can spread that um, buff around it helps your team so much the Inspire buff or oh, Inspired and that's in the bag so in the back here we've got a Separatist lineup with Wat Tambor and an Old Republic here at the bottom predominantly G12 so that's pretty solid I would say down here are Night Sisters and a Scoundrel team so I'm gonna throw in uh, I really wanted to try this first order team for the night sisters but 
I'm not 100% confident on them yet. So I thought to myself, how many teams do I still have lying around? So I still have gas. Um, I still have a decent amount. I still have CLS and I think I can afford to use my Jedi against this Night Sister squad and just get them out of the way. So I'm going to target Asajj Ventress here to start with. I just, I didn't check the speeds. I didn't bother. At this point, I just wanted to get my buffs going. So I really wanted to target her and that way I don't get dispelled. And she's already used her revive there, so we're at an advantage. Use the AoE, and I'm gonna go for Daka next. It's a pretty straightforward battle against this Knight Sister team. I don't think they were modded very optimally, because if they were, usually it's a very dicey battle. Like, depending on how much damage Mother Talzin can output, and even that uh, Night Sister Spirit, with decent amount of speed, that Night Sister Spirit can do so much damage. And we got that in the bag. So we'll just deal with this um, scoundrel team here. We'll use our Sith team. I like using my Sith team if I see a nest. She can be problematic. Because of that stacking protection. So I'm going to isolate L3 there in the back. That way she doesn't keep taunting. Throw those pains around. And I am very close to annihilate. I've got about 260 speed, I believe, on Nihilus, and he is an absolute beast. He would be a relic priority for me. Get Nest out of the way with that Annihilate. And it's good to have an Isolate on the opposing team's tank as well. Yeah, I gotta love this Sith team. I gotta start working on my Palpatine and Vader though. I've got them both G12, but they could potentially hold their own under a uh, Palpy leadership. But I typically use them with the Sith Trio here. Just because they're not strong enough to hold their own at the moment, they're not modded very optimally. And we got the win there, 56 banners. So at this point, I'm thinking to myself, I've really got to um, underdog one of these teams just because um, uh, my enemy here was quite efficient. Well, not really, because usually we try and target about 1900. So he did pretty well. I think he struggled with my Night Sister squad. Um, I've modded them pretty decently just for GAC defense. So I'm gonna go against the Separatist squad here at Blast Watambor out of the sky and now I'm gonna go for Newt Gunray here. Once I get a chance I'm gonna go for Dooku as well just because I know how annoying those counter attacks can be and the debuffs and stuns. Gain some more protection there. And we can start hitting Newt here. Gets a revive. And we can now go for Dooku. Get him out of the way. Han Solo hits like an absolute truck. This rebel team is still very viable. It's got 57 banners there. And we've got an old Republic here on the top, a Geonosian team, and a Bounty Hunter. So, typically I'd like to use my Sith Trio against that Geo team and just ensure that they don't have a chance of winning. But I've used them for the Nest team, 
prior, so now I've got to use another team. This gas team is incredible. Like you don't have to have all the clones in the team and you're still gonna be insanely powerful on offense. So against this bounty hunter team, I just threw out gas here because Django can be really annoying in high relics. In my previous um, Grand Arena that I showed you guys, I really struggled with a relic for Django, I believe it was. Um, but this guy, you don't have to think about uh, target order. As you can see, I just smashed out uh, boss there on the first go, and with Gas's um, leadership, no one can revive, so they all just fall. Django doesn't come back, and neither does Boba. So with the Geos here, I've been thinking so much about using my first order team against that. But I threw in Malik because I knew I still had him in my roster. And just in case it gets really dicey and tricky. This first order team works really well against um, Geos as well as Night Sisters. Because that AoE, as you can see, did so much damage. But this Geo's team has so much survivability. Like they regenerated that in the one turn. So at, at that point, I think I should have shocked him to prevent him from taunting. But I was playing around too much. And we're going to use that AOE again, and we drop one of them. We lose First Order Officer, but we drop most of them there. So really, we didn't need Malik in this team. Um, at this point, I'm just really still playing around with First Order. And I think with Sith Trooper, it's just really about ensuring he has the offense up from first order officer and the advantage whenever you throw out that aoe it helps so much and he does so much damage when he crits so the last team here at the top i'm gonna be using my clone troopers here with wampa and throne So I like um, Shakti's leadership here, which adds so much speed to this team. She also adds so much survivability with her special abilities. And we've dropped Karth there. I'm gonna um, fracture Zalba, preventing him from taunting. And we'll throw that daze around, which didn't really work out. But now I can throw this assist onto Echo. And he does so much damage at Relic 7. Let's target mission. Once Zalbar is fractured, it's pretty much game set match. Like he can be a really annoying tank, so having control of his taunt early on helps so much. This was a pretty straightforward GAC. Um, I find that it gets more fun as you are able to, I guess, make more of your characters viable. And I've calculated this bef even before I did this battle, just to make sure I get to the 1900 mark, which I did. Um, so otherwise I would have underdogged that last fight and yeah i'm quite happy with the result at the moment i'm really going to work on my night sister team here because if you have a look they did so well on defense and it's not uh it's not an insanely relicked up night sister squad either it's a pretty simple 
Fortnite's is the squad that's been modded appropriately. And they struggled more with that than the Grievous team, so... Yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the content, and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.